Hello, AC Universe, and welcome to Canada Crossing. My name is Detective Danny, and today we are on the case of going through this direct presentation of Animal Crossing for the new update, which is scheduled to launch on November 5th. And we are going to look through it and comb through the evidence to find out what we could be missing. Let's get started. So the first thing we got to see was the return of the Roost and Brewster, which is very exciting. But the questions we still have are, are we going to be able to work for Brewster and serve coffee to our residents like we could in previous games? Or is there going to be some other features here? We just don't know. There's no evidence of it so far. There's no place for us to get back behind the counter. So I'm going to have to say, I don't think there is. The, the major feature is going to be inviting Amiibo villagers to have coffee with them. But as far as actually working here, I don't think we're going to have it this time. The next update shows Captain coming back and bringing us to new Mystery Islands. This is very exciting. I love the fact that we're going to have different seasons on different Mystery Islands. It does lead me to wonder how many different ones they're going to have. So they only show one that's very different from what we currently have like with the new uh the new flora and the vines and everything are there going to be more that we just haven't seen i hope so that's going to be really exciting to bring new kind of plants to the game are they also going to have new bugs and fish here that we don't currently have in, in on our current islands that's also something to look forward to I love the idea of different seasons. Imagine getting cherry blossoms outside of cherry blossom seasons and mushrooms. So exciting. Next we have Harv's Island. This is also really exciting to me. This is when I was officially like, okay, this update is major. So having a shopping island where all our NPCs that offer us goods will be here. I am really excited for this. We still don't know how much it's going to cost to open each all these trailer shops. Hopefully it won't be too extreme. We see that he has 163,000 bells in his pocket right now and then all of a sudden Sahara is open so maybe it's only going to be like 100 grand like we can hope. I love that Red's here with his raffle box as well. So that's going to be good. We'll get Boba year round. That's awesome. Cyrus and Reese customizing all the items, not just the Nook Mile items, which some people are led to believe, any items, like they have a piano in their pocket that you can customize to all the versions we don't have on our current island, amazing. And Tortimer, I wanna talk about that too. Do you think he can get things from your home storage so you can bring them to Reese and Cyrus to customize? So you don't have to bring everything to the island every time? That would be amazing. So home customization, it looks like it's only those four that are gonna appear on the screen, but I mean, with all the, color variants they'll actually look like a lot more so i'm okay with that storage expansion as well up to 5,000. that is going to help my hoarder needs thank you so much animal crossing next we have the crops and cooking dream come true you can see in the menu savory and there's a sweet right next to it so we're gonna have two varieties i do want to say something about because a lot of people are talking about the amount of crops they do say that there is more but they don't say more crops they say more items so we do know that we already have pumpkins and mushrooms available um and we saw some dishes with fish so i don't know that we're getting new crops i am hoping because that would be amazing but other than the ones they show i don't see any other evidence that there will be more crops there is some questioning about leaf sign that there's a green pepper on it but it could be a green pumpkin. Pro Construction License costs 3,000 Nook Miles. It's gonna be more than just two new bridges and inclines, guys. For that many Nook Miles, you think it's just gonna be allowing us to purchase two new bridges and two new inclines, or two more, I should say? There's gotta be some no new variants, customizations, maybe new paths with that construction license. And new fences and fence customization is huge, but I want you to notice this yellow and blue fence, they are not attached. So meaning if you have two different colors of fence fences, even though they're the same type, they are not gonna actually connect to each other, which could be good and bad depending on the look you're going for, but I think it's important to note. Green pepper or green pumpkin? Let me know in the comments below. Sable's patterns are getting an upgrade. You're gonna to wanna to talk to Sable again. So if you look, there are 11 
slides of patterns here. We currently only have 10 in our game. So that means you're gonna wanna talk to Sable. There's gonna be new patterns coming. That's very exciting. I'm super stoked to have new items to buy with our Nook Miles, and these items look amazing. There's been a lot of talk about the plaza items, whether they're going to be able to be put in our plaza. I don't think so. I think they just renamed, it's almost like a furniture series, the plaza series, that you can use on your own homemade plazas. Because you'll notice they renamed the teacup ride, the plaza teacup ride. And also we currently have a park clock and they renamed it a plaza clock. So I think they just are renaming things. I don't think it means that we're actually going to put it in our plaza. I could be wrong. So many events happen in our plaza and what happens when there's a bug off or KK things to all those items that are in our plaza. So I can't see them being for our plaza. I think it's just an item set. I think this permanently placed ladder thing is going to be a game changer. It's so cool. But what I really notice is when he goes to buy the recipe, there's a cooking recipe booklet in there. You think you're clever, don't you, Nintendo? I see you. I see that froggy chair. So those were kind of the things that I noticed that they didn't really mention in the direct, but I happened to just pick up on them, and along with other ones that other people have as well. So let me know if there's something that you picked up that I missed or in the comments below. And I cannot wait for this update. There's so much. All, I couldn't even mention all the furniture. Every time someone opens their pockets, just look at all the new furniture. I am so excited. I know you all are too. November 5th cannot come fast enough. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.